This is a book by Thomas Hungerford. It's called Abstract Algebra and Introduction. Now, Hungerford has another book uh, which is more advanced and than this one. I also own that book, um, and I, I really like that book. This one, though, is more for beginners, okay? It's called Abstract Algebra and Introduction by Hungerford. And here it even tells you, right, here's the preface. This book is intended for a first undergraduate course in modern abstract algebra. Linear algebra is not a prerequisite. That's pretty good. Since terse mathematical elegance often leaves beginning students bewildered, the emphasis here is on clarity as well as rigor. Concepts are fully explained, right, good, with numerous examples and all the non-trivial details of proofs are filled in. The goal has been to produce a book which an average student can read with minimal outside assistance, right? So it's meant for self-study, right? To enable the student to develop the necessary skills for doing mathematics. There are more than 1,500 exercises grouped by level of difficulty. Perfect. So that's exciting. Let's look at the topics. Starts with arithmetic. Oh, what's the copyright on this? Let's see when it was printed. That's always fun to look at. Uh, let's see. Looks like 1990. So this one's from 1990. I wonder if this is the first edition, because it, it doesn't say uh, the edition. Let's get, maybe it's the first edition, because it says 1990. There's no other date there. There's no other date, so this might be the first one, but I don't know. I'll leave a link in the description to this book if I can find an edition, so you can check it out. Congruence, rings. Wow, it goes to rings pretty early, which is kind of cool, right? I mean, it's just right away, right? Page 39, then arithmetic and f adjoint x, congruence, ideals and quotient rings, then, then groups, so it's rings first, right? That's kind of cool. That's kind of uh, unusual uh, for uh, an abstract algebra book. Field extensions, topics and group theory, some Galois theory. Part three, excursions and applications, wow. Okay, cool, got some other more topics there. And then you got some appendices, logic and proof, sets and functions, well ordering and induction, equivalence relations, binomial theorem, matrix algebra, and polynomials. Kind of nice, kind of nice to have those little fun sections. You can, you can actually just read these and learn some stuff. Like, we'll, we'll look at those maybe later. Um, and then answers and suggestions for selected odd numbered exercises. You know, let's look now before I forget. So let's just look at the appendices. I'm just kind of interested in seeing, these because these can be really fun to read, like these appendices. Oh, here's one on the binomial theorem, okay. It's a long formula. <clears throat> it's a powerful formula. Matrix algebra, polynomials. Yeah, so little appendices you can read and sit down and work through. Yeah, a bibliography. And then answers in the back to some of the exercises, to selected odd numbered exercises. So not all of them. Notice number three is missing, right? So it doesn't have all, the, this is the biggest con of these books. It's what they don't have, right? Is that they're missing answers a lot of times. But this one has great exercises, good explanations, uh, good for a beginner who wants to learn. And here's like a flow chart type thing. Kind of cool. A chart to the student. So arithmetic and Z starts here with uh, the division algorithm, well-ordering axiom. And then here's the division algorithm, and then I'm assuming they're going to prove it, because probably, yeah, here's the proof. They go through the proof. It's an existence and uniqueness theorem, so it's, uh, the proof is quite interesting. It takes some time to, um, you know, learn and look at when you first see it. It's, I've seen it in class. I've done it. I think I might even have a video of it on my channel. I'm, I'm not even sure. I might have one. It's funny. I don't even know, but it's possible uh, that I've done that video. Prove that for every odd integer a, a squared is of the form 8k plus 1 for some integer k. Yeah, I circled that. Or someone did. Divisibility. Lots of examples. And yeah, it's just a standard book on abstract algebra. So the prereq for this, what is the prereq? Um, that would be knowing how to write proofs. So as long as you can write proofs, you can learn something like abstract algebra. Um, I also have a course, I actually have a course on abstract algebra. It's on my website, mathsorcerer.com. And they're actually, it's actually on Udemy, but if you check out any of my courses, which I have algebra, calculus, differential equations, abstract algebra, uh, use my website, because I lowered the price. So when you use the links uh, on my website, not only does it help me, but um, you should get a low price, mathsorcerer.com. And yeah, this is a good book, it's a good book. 
I do wish it had more answers to more of the exercises, but other than that, uh, I think this is a great book for learning. That's what you should take away from this video. Main takeaway, this book is awesome. Um, you can use it to learn abstract algebra. Also, if you are into fitness, check out my other channel, The Fitness Sorcerer, where I look at fitness books. Uh, I work out all kinds of fitness stuff. I do product reviews, just random stuff. The Fitness Sorcerer, if you want. Anyways, until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.